quick disclaimer, this is just my experience. Your experience may not be identical to mine, so don't try these commands or don't try anything before assessing your situation and comparing it against mine. Mine is really just to show you, hey, this is what happened to me, this is what I did, but use your own mind for what it is you need to do to resolve your scenario. All right, here's the scenario. I sysprepped, shut down, and then cloned a VM machine. When I booted, and after the clones, every clone I brought up, it brought up this error. Windows could not finish configuring the system to attempt to resume configuration, restart the computer. All the clones, including the original source computer, they're all just doomed after that. The solution was that I did not remove the antivirus prior to sysprepping. So that's the deal. So if you're getting this, maybe, you know, take a look. Did you not uninstall your antivirus prior to the sysprep? Now, other things are down the line, I've just come to the idea that instead of sysprepping first, I perform the clones first and then sysprep the clones. Now, if you have like a hundred clones you have to make, that may not be a good deal. But maybe if it's just five machines, you could do that and, or just make sure you uninstall the, the antivirus first. Hey, but if you do clone before the sysprep, make sure that you take it offline because I think it will also clone your network adapter. So, so don't bring up duplicates. Now, the original source machine, I was able to bring back up by running some tricks on it. These are all the things I tried. When I received the error, I think I pressed Shift F10 to bring up the command prompt. I typed in net user administrator space slash active colon yes. And it said the command completed successfully. Then I did net user administrator and then the password and it said the command completed successfully and then cd space oobe for out of box experience and then i just typed in ms oobe and it brought it brought up like a it was like part of the out of box windows experience sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't after i did it once when i would bring all that up again it wouldn't do anything uh, that worked, I think, but then there was some other problems. So this is what else I did. And I don't remember the order. I needed to get back into the source system because like, even if the clones were doomed, that didn't matter. I doomed the main server itself and I, I couldn't let that happen. So anyway, I, I got to the command prompt. I typed in dism.exe space slash online space slash cleanup dash image space slash restore health. And that kind of fixed it a little bit. This only worked on the source. The clones, none of this worked. Oh yeah, let me say this too. If you're doing this in VMware, make sure you take a snapshot before you do the sysprep. Because you know once you go sysprep, let's say you just forgot to uninstall the antivirus, there's like no turning back. This server was like bricked essentially. And thankfully I somehow was able to get back into the source machine with the things I showed you. But the two things to remember are, make sure you take a snapshot prior to performing the sysprep and make sure you uninstall antivirus. Some other things I was trying to do along the way was to change the SID and the forums say that Microsoft doesn't want you doing that because there's places that the SID doesn't get changed. I did that on one of the clones, I think. Where it didn't, it, it worked, but it didn't. It like doomed it bricked a bunch of other aspects of the operating system. So I don't recommend doing that. And then some forms showed that you could generate a new SID while creating a new VM guest. This is like from an older version of VMware, the latest edition in the year 2020. I can't find this anywhere. So, but, but hey, if, if it's still in your version, you might use that option. I don't know the, the outcome of using that. So stick to these things. Make a snapshot for sure, remove the antivirus, and then you could do your sysprep and clone. Alternatively, you can clone the machines and then sysprep the clones. But if you do that, make sure it's not connected to your network so you don't get duplicate IPs and duplicate computer names. So those are the solutions, or that's what I did to get out of it. I got lucky. Those commands that I showed you worked for the source, so I was able to get back into the source. Uh, but if you follow those tips, you should be good. If you bricked your machine, you know, 
<laughs> better luck next time or try those commands. And I brute forced it. Like I tried those commands a bunch of times. Anyway, that's it. That's Tech Nuba. See you in the next one.